afternoon. My name is Claire Schultz, and I had the privilege of being your student body president this year. Four years ago, I never would have imagined that I'd be in this position or be up here making this speech. I think that if you ask any one of my classmates, they would agree. This is Amari's place, and I'm just filling in for him. He's the one who encouraged me to run for office freshman year, and I would not be where I am today without his support. I knew I could not make this speech without mentioning him and thanking him for how he shaped my life and the lives of my classmates. Losing Amari too soon was one of the many unforeseen and terrible things that have happened in our four years at Ashley Ridge. I had a challenging time finding the words to accurately describe what we went through in the four years and the connections that were created as a result. There's no other graduating class that has or ever will experience what we did, but we prevailed. Our experience has been anything but normal, but everything happens for a reason, and the challenges we have faced have shaped us into the people we are today. We are stronger now because of it. Getting through high school is no easy feat, but I am proud to say that we did it. I want to say congratulations to my classmates, and thank you for helping me through the past four years. I know I'm at the beginning of this ceremony, so we still have a bit to go. But as our time as high schoolers comes to an end and we close this chapter of our lives, I want to remind everyone that this school has sufficiently prepared us for whatever journey we are taking next. I know I speak for everyone when I say thank you to all the teachers, administrators, and staff. We could not have made it here without you. Ashley Ridge has prepared us for our next steps, whether you are going into the armed forces, workforce, or continue your education, you will succeed. We have been given the skills we need not only to be successful, but to be resilient, passionate, leaders, advocators, and above all good. And now, it is time for us to leave the comfort of Ash Ridge and all we have known. As we walk across this stage and enter to the next phase of our lives, remember, you did it. You graduated. Before the posting of the colors and the playing of the national anthem, it is my honor to recognize the graduating seniors who have made the honorable commitment to serve our country in the armed forces after graduation. Please stand while your name is called and remain standing while we celebrate you. United States Army, Dylan Alexander Cox, Cole Lakin Woodard, United States Marines, Weston Lane Eady, Benjamin Campbell Singletary, Michael Stephen Zampino, United States Air Force and Space Force, Aiden Osman Abaza, Andrew Daniel Hafner, Lindsay Adolphus Robert Shuford, United States Navy, Tyra Dolores Perry, Benjamin David Reason. At this time, I invite everyone to please stand with these students for the posting of the colors and the playing of the national anthem.
Good afternoon, and welcome to the 12th annual commencement for Ashley Ridge High School. It is a great honor to be a part of this celebration. The celebration would not be possible without the individuals sitting on the stage. Our Dorchester II Board of Trustees, Ms. Gail Hughes, Chairman, Ms. Barbara Crosby, Mr. Justin Farnsworth, Mr. Evan Guthrie, Mr. Brian Mitchum, Ms. Tanya Robinson, and Ms. Ashley Wimberly. I would like to recognize the District Office Administration, Mr. Joe Pye, Superintendent, Ms. Karen Radcliffe, Executive Director of Secondary Schools, Dr. Greg Harrison, Executive Director of Special Programs, and Ms. Galia Mercer-Brown, Coordinator of Guidance Services. The supportive, student-focused leadership displayed by our district leaders is key to our student achievement. The administrative team at Ashley Ridge works tirelessly providing successful options for our students. Our administrative team is Heidi Gary, Drew Hensley, Michael Jenkins, Anthony Peretti, Eric Seitz, Ebony Summers Fogel, and Randall Tucker. I'd like to recognize a group of individuals who give of themselves selfishly on a daily basis at Ashley Ridge. They work incredibly hard on forming relationships with their students and pushing them towards success. I'd like to take a moment to recognize the amazing work of our faculty members. Thank you. The faculty and seniors respectfully request your, your cooperation as we celebrate the graduation of the class of 2022 in a dignified and respectful manner. All names are important to family and friends. Please help us ensure that all names are heard by holding your applause and celebration until all seniors are recognized. Please do not leave your seat to take pictures or videos a photographer will take each graduate's pictures as they cross the stage. Also, please remain in place until the graduates recess from the Coliseum. At this time, please check to ensure that your cell phone is silenced. I ask that you refrain from using air horns or noise makers of any kind that may, that may distract from this ceremony. Remember, it's all about respect, one of our Swamp Fox non-negotiables. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Before I begin my message this afternoon, I'm reminded that for so many families, today is a day of celebration. For one of our Swamp Fox families, this day is bittersweet. This is a day of a difficult reminder of a life that was taken too soon. Our thoughts and prayers are with Amari President's family. I know, guys, that Amari is here with us this afternoon. Please continue to keep his family in your thoughts and prayers. Members of the class of 2022, today is the day that we celebrate your hard work and your achievements and imagine all the possibilities that lie ahead for you. This year we survived virtual learning, hybrid learning, power outages during testing, a state wrestling championship, a truck fire in the parking lot, tears, senior pranks, laughter, a pole vault state championship, academic overtime, lockdown ILTs, prom, evening school, blood drives, fire drills, and student celebrations. We survived all of these events because we were together. Never forget the good or the bad times because believe it or not, the good and the bad have made you into the graduate you are today. I'd like to share a story that I read that resonated with me. It's about a group of frogs. As the group of frogs were traveling through the woods, two of them fell into a deep pit. When the other frogs crowded around the pit and saw how deep it was, they told the frogs that there was no hope left for them. However, the two frogs decided to ignore what the others were saying and proceeded to jump out of the pit. Despite their efforts, 
the group of frogs at the top were still saying that they should just give up, that they would never make it out. Eventually, one of the frogs took heed to what they were saying and he gave up, falling down to his death. The other frog continued to jump as hard as he could. Again, the crowd of frogs yelled and yelled at him to stop the pain and just give up. He jumped even harder and finally made it out of the pit. Once he got out, the other frog said, did you not hear us? The frog explained that he was deaf. He thought the entire time they were encouraging him. Whatever it is that you plan to do today, whether it's four year, two year college, military, workforce, words have a big effect on others' lives. As you leave Ashley Ridge High School, I challenge you, be the encourager, be the person that shows kindness, be the person that stands up for others, be the person that cares enough to stand for what you believe in, and be the person that has no regrets. And remember, one of our Swamp Fox non-negotiables, we leave everything better than we found it. Thank you for embracing me with open arms and allowing me to be your principal. For this, I will always hold the class of 2022 dear to me. Always remember, we are... Level up, AR. I teach AP Capstone Seminar here at Ashley Ridge High School, and research writing, which is the focus of the class, is a very inconsistent business. Sometimes your research falls into place, your organizational plan works out just fine, and you just tap away at the keyboard like a champ. Other days, you run into a source that forces you to rethink your entire plan, or you manage to distract yourself from the task at hand, and you just can't quite get a good day's work in. There are victories and cheers at one table. At another, there is a tired, frustrated writer who is struggling, sometimes quietly struggling, sometimes not so quietly. But the most important thing we have all learned in AP Seminar is that our struggles as writers help us grow. I teach my writers to look at the tough days as opportunities to figure out how to rework a thesis into something even better than what you started out with, or to work around an interruption and learn to think, plan, research, and write, and then rethink, replan, and revise through feedback and revision. Our salutatorian took those opportunities to grow even out of really challenging days. I truly enjoyed watching Kira Boykin develop into a fine writer, a careful researcher, and an open-minded thinker through both AP English Language and AP Capstone Seminar classes. Last summer, on the way to her perfect five in AP Seminar, Kira completed projects on the implications and limitations of animal breeding for task one, and for task two, the psychological ties an athlete has with spectators, coaches, and team members. Last summer, I tutored Kira and her cohort as they took summer classes with Trident Tech's early college program, and she again stood out as willing to work when things became challenging. There were papers to write, and even worse, the long days and the summer sun was beckoning but she managed her challenges, she helped her classmates when they got stuck, and she came to school every day with a positive attitude. Next year, she will take those reading and writing and research skills, as well as her outstanding worth ethic, to study public health at the University of South Carolina Honors College. Please join me in congratulating Ashley Ridge High School's 2022 salutatorian, Kira May Boykin. So I have thought about graduating a lot, never truly thinking about what life after May 28, 2022 will be like. It has freaked me out, and I know the thought of the future scares a lot of you as well. But we do have so much time, and we are so young. I spent a lot of time in high school watching the clock, whether it be waking up in the morning and hitting snooze for five minutes, then panicking when I slept an extra 10, or waiting for the bell to ring a minute earlier than it is supposed to. I know most of us have even packed our bags too soon, rushing to leave and making our teachers angry. This school has given me amazing opportunities and some of my favorite people. 
but I've spent so much time counting the minutes and seconds to notice or appreciate them enough. I've realized that this is our time to take things slow. There's no deadline for success. There's so much freedom, and I think this class is ready for what life is aiming to throw at us. We'll just have to stop, drop, and roll with it. Realistically, you cannot have it together all the time. So I think it is important to praise yourself in the moments you remember to. I'm going to take this moment to tell you all how proud I am of you, whether we talk every day or if you've never seen me before in your life. You should be proud of yourselves for getting this far and reflect on all your achievements, even the little ones like making it out of the school parking lot in under half an hour. I'm also speaking to not only the students, but the teachers, faculty, family, and friends that have encouraged one another and themselves simultaneously. Thank you, and I hope you are giving yourselves the credit you deserve. Now, students, we have the power to do great things and dumb things, so why not do both since we are given the time? There are enough moments to heal from mistakes and enough to make more afterwards. We live and we learn as we travel farther down our own paths in life. Although we are still learning, we are responsible for our own lives and our own happiness. We have complete control over our minutes and hours. I hope you all enjoy a beautiful life and live with few regrets. Just remember what Uncle Ben said, with great power comes great responsibility. Congratulations, Ashley Ridge, class of 2022. Thank you. The Swamp Fox Award is an award given to a senior that displays hard work, perseverance, determination, and grit. This year's recipient embodies all of the qualities it means to be a true Swamp Fox. She is kind, fun-loving, and always has a smile on her face. She is someone that we can all learn a lesson from. Let me tell you a little bit about her time at Ashley Ridge. In December 2020, she was diagnosed with Ewing's sarcoma, a rare type of cancer that occurs in bones or in the soft tissue around the bones. She has battled cancer throughout her junior, junior and senior year, including extended hospital stays and numerous chemo treatments. Through all of this, she continued to keep up with her academics, finishing her senior year in the top 3% of her class. She could also be seen on the sidelines of athletic games completing her sports medicine requirements. I can remember numerous times receiving texts from her and her mother and pictures of her completing schoolwork at MUSC in her hospital bed. Throughout her battle, she has never lost sight of her goals and maintained a positive outlook. I cannot say enough about her fighting spirit and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for her as she begins her next adventure at the University of Florida. It is with great pride that I present this year's Swamp Fox Award to Peyton Harbert. It isn't often that Ashley Ridge High School awards two Swamp Fox Awards. This year will be an exception. The second Swamp Fox Award goes to someone that has dedicated 52 years of service to children. He has served as a teacher, principal, personnel director, and currently our district superintendent. He goes above and beyond to form lasting relationships with his teachers, administrators, community members, and most importantly, the students of Dorchester District 2. His personality fills the room, and he has led Dorchester District 2 to be a world-class school district. Personally, he has been someone that I have always looked up to since I was a child. He has been a mentor to me, giving me advice that I wanted to hear, and sometimes the advice that I did not want to hear. 
I will never be able to repay, repay him for giving me the opportunity to be the principal of Ashley Ridge High School. He is a constant supporter of Ashley Ridge. I have never asked him for anything that he has not said yes or said, we'll find a way. He is a true supporter of all students and has been our biggest cheerleader. He can be seen at marching band competitions, ROTC, and athletic events sporting his cardinal in gold. What he does behind the scenes for all students is immeasurable. We are all better for knowing him. It is with great pride that I present this year's Swamp Fox Award to Mr. Joseph Pye. At this time, I would like to announce the scholarship totals for the class of 2022. Our goal at Ashley Ridge is to make sure that if a student wants to go to college, they will find an opportunity to attend. We do not want any student to not have the top opportunity to pursue their dream due to financial constraints. As of this morning, a class of 468 diploma earning students you earned over $20.4 million to various colleges and universities. We have 29 Palmetto Fellows. 336 students will be eligible to receive the two-year life scholarship, and 152 students will be eligible to receive the four-year life scholarship. Students wearing a medal with a black ribbon have earned the Diploma of Distinction. These students have gone above and beyond in their coursework, grades, and extracurricular involvement. We recognize our students who earned a Work Keys Certificate of Platinum, Gold, Silver, or Bronze. Those students and their achievements are recognized by a designated cord that they're wearing. This year, 88.3% of our students earned a Work Ready Certificate. Seniors who have successfully completed a career major in one of the seven schools of study wear a designated cord as well. Our 18 students who graduated with an associate's degree from Trident are wearing black mortar board. Ashley Ridge is recognizing another group of students this year, our advanced placement scholars. Our AP scholars are 54 seniors who have earned seven or more advanced placement credits. This year, Ashley Ridge students completed 699 advanced placement exams. Ashley Ridge has been on the national stage this year. We have one student that was accepted to the Air Force Academy and one student accepted to the Naval Academy. Yes, it's been an awesome year to be a Swamp Fox. Thank you to our school counselors, Shelby Achilles, Pat Bradley, Jennifer Collins, Brittany Duffy, Sarah Gibson, Vira James, Lauren LaPera, Catherine Nicholson, Carolyn Pastor, and Toya Richardson for all of their constant time and effort and support in making sure our seniors have options. I cannot help but think that our beloved former school counselor, Meg Jenkins, is smiling down on us this afternoon. I know she is so proud of you seniors. Thank you. A big thank you for the Swamp Fox Award. I greatly appreciate it. It was a surprise, but I'm not surprised by anything that Ashley Ridge High School does. You just heard those numbers. They're phenomenal every single year. Their test scores are up through the top. You just do a wonderful job. You make us so proud in Dorchester, too, that Ashley Ridge is one of our three major high schools, and you do such a wonderful job. And so congratulations to all of our Ashley Ridge family, school extended family, for um, helping us to make this a top-notch high school. Good afternoon, Ashley Ridge graduates. It is an honor to be here as your superintendent and to recognize and celebrate you, the 2022 graduating class of Ashley Ridge. As I prepared this message, I couldn't help but consider my own graduation and the celebration that went along with it. Some of you might receive gifts to go along with the celebration. 
And as I reflect on those gifts now, I realize the best gift any of us can receive is the gift of time. So I'd like to talk about that gift, the gift of time, the past, the present, and the future. I want to start with the present. Today we are here to celebrate you. You have reached a very important milestone in your short time on this earth, your high school graduation. Until now, nearly three-fourths of your life has been spent in school. Some of you began your K-12 education journey right here in Dorchester District 2. Others moved here somewhere along in their journey. Regardless of how long you've been in our district, it's the relationships that we have formed together with everyone in our community, and especially within the Ashley Ridge um, school community, is, is what's made us who we are, and it's probably the most wonderful gift of all. And now that you have reached this special occasion, let's all take a moment to pause, soak it all in, and, and audience, let's give the graduates a round of applause. All right, we can't talk about the present without reflecting on the past. Most of you have encountered some type of challenge along the way to get here today. During those challenging times, you've learned, grown, and become stronger individuals. And that is a gift from this period of time. You've had the support of your families and friends along the way. So our graduates, I hope you also recognize that dozens of teachers, administrators, coaches, and counselors have also helped you on the journey. As you look around, please notice these very important people who are here to celebrate this occasion with you. They have poured out much of their time, their energy, and their talents for you at home, in the classrooms, and at extracurricular events and beyond, playing a very important role in shaping who you are now and what you will do in the, what be in the future. They invested time in you, and that is a priceless gift. Graduates, let's take a second and thank those around us that has made us who we are. Thank you. And now we look to the future time, to what's next in our journey. Some of you may be a bit like me. You have no idea what you'll be doing in August, literally. <laughs> and when the next school year begins, but many of you already know and have made plans to join the military, continue your education, or maybe start your career. No matter what is next for each of us, remember, we all have the gift of time ahead of us. As you continue your journey in your next chapter, I want to encourage you to find your passion, do what you love, and you will be greatly rewarded. Be flexible. Sometimes things don't go as planned on the journey. There are twists and turns, but if you stay the course, Take time to stop and smell the roses and use that time to reflect. You will find your way. Take initiative. Don't wait for opportunities to come to you. Look for ways to make them happen for yourself and others. Remain open to possibilities. Sometimes those opportunities open doors we never dreamed of even knocking on. Strive for excellence. Do your best in all things. Help others along the way. Stay in touch with your family and friends. And yes, make new friends. Use the gift of time for what is important. Take time for yourself, your family, and your friends because you cannot make time. So take that time and carve it out for you and your family and friends. Each of us has given 86,400 seconds each day. Make them count. W.B. Du Bois said, now is the accepted time, not tomorrow, not some more convenient season. It is the day that our best work can be done and not some future day or future year. It is the day that we fit ourselves for the greater usefulness of tomorrow. Today is the seed time. Now are the hours of work, and tomorrow comes the harvest and the playtime. May you enjoy the gift of time, this moment, right now. That's why it's called the present. But be thankful for the past, and may you be blessed with a rich and bountiful harvest in the future for all the years to come. Dr. Seuss said, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. So smile because of all the wonderful things that have happened to you. On your graduation day, we smile because you made it happen. The time has come to celebrate and open the gift of time that lies ahead. Congratulations, students.
Good afternoon. I am honored today to introduce to you the valedictorian for the Ashley Ridge High School's graduating class of 2022. COVID has wreaked havoc on the lives of these graduates in and out of school for the last three or four years. This year's valedictorian has not only survived, but thrived through my honors pre-calc and my AP calculus courses. Last year, he was one of only two juniors to score a five on the AP Calculus AB exam. He enjoys figuring things out and understanding why they work the way they do. He is a four-time Board of Trustees Award winner, a College Board National Hispanic Recognition Program winner, an AP Scholar with Distinction, a graduate of Palmetto Boys State, a DD2, an AP Student Liaison, and an AP Capstone Diploma candidate. He has played soccer, been on the track and field team, and competed in Science Quest competitions, and actively participated in multiple honor societies. Lastly, I could not introduce him properly without mentioning that he is a member of a very small but enthusiastic group that I refer to as the Fellowship of the Ohm. If you know, you know. He has no plans on taking it easy next year as he's taking his many talents and going to Stanford University in the fall. Please join me in congratulating Ashley Ridge High School's 2022 valedictorian, James Matthew Lopez. Thank you. Good afternoon, family members, administrators, teachers, and my fellow graduates. Before anything, I want to show appreciation for the people who helped me get to this point in my life, because I definitely could not have done, achieved this on my own. I want to thank my mom for always being there for me and being on top of my mental health throughout this journey by reminding me that as long as I was doing my best, that was always good enough. I want to thank my dad, who never let me undercut myself and made sure I knew that my best wasn't just where I was comfortable but where, I was, what, where my abilities were maximized. I would like to thank my younger siblings, who for the last 15 years have provided me daily training to master the art of tuning out distractions. I want to thank my grandparents for being such great role models and always being willing to provide great advice. As they say, no matter how smart I think I am, they will always be wiser. I want to thank my friends for keeping me humble this past year and never letting my head get too big by reminding me how going to Stanford wasn't really a big deal it was just another small private school in California. And lastly, I want to thank my teachers and administrators who provided an environment that allowed me to be successful. So here we are today, finally graduating. A chapter of our lives is closing, and reflecting back on it has reminded me of what lies ahead. When I was a freshman, I worked pretty hard, I got good grades, but I never thought too much of it. So when the time came for us to see our class rank, I wasn't expecting too much. I was happily surprised to see that I was actually number two. Immediately, my family and relatives congratulated me as it was a very notable accomplishment and definitely something to be proud of. But it wasn't too long before all the jokes started to set in from family and friends because at the end of the day, I was not number one. While I was very happy to be number two, I was always reminded that there was still more I could do and more to accomplish. The next few years of high school, I worked with a little bit more tenacity, pushing myself to do the best I could rather than just be comfortable, and now here I am. Like freshman James, we are accomplishing to be something extremely we are accomplishing something to be extremely proud of today. Not only are we graduating today after many years of hard work, but during these years we went through unprecedented times. The coronavirus affected three of our high school years, causing us to have to do online school and spend much more time at home with our family than we may have ever anticipated or wanted. So congratulations class of 2022. We have earned this day and deserve to be celebrated. But we can't get too ahead of ourselves because I now want to remind you as my family and friends had reminded me that you still have more to do. Graduating is a huge accomplishment, but we still have jobs to do, colleges to attend, military service to carry out, and most importantly, we still have relationships to form and foster, as well as people to leave our mark on. So don't get too comfortable. In the grand scheme of things, we are only number two right now, if not three or four. So we need to keep striving to be number one, no matter what number one means to us or what track we are on. It's not over yet, and we still have more work to do. I wish you all luck in your future aspirations, I can't wait to see what you accomplish, and again, congratulations. Thank you. Ready, Ms. Matthews? 
We will begin the awarding of the diplomas with our honor students. Valedictorian and Distinguished Honor Graduate, James Matthew Lopez. Salutatorian and Distinguished Honor Graduate, Kira May Boykin. Our Distinguished Honor Graduates are Aiden Osman Abaza, Raquel Duarte Almeida, Kaylin Ashley Barefoot, Olivia Maria Barcasi, Paige Celeste Barnes, Meredith Francis Bassett, Colin Michael Burgoff, London Abril Bernal, Caroline Rachel Booth, Jack Nolan Bradshaw, Haley Elizabeth Brandt, Tyler Michael Bro, Austin Michael Brown, Ava Elizabeth Burdett, Matthew Lance Cannavaro, Gavin Nathan Carlton, Mackenzie Renee Carter, Alexandria Elise Causey, Jessica Janine Conley, Allison Naomi Cross, Caroline Olivia Davis, Nicholas Gerard De Janeiro, Munashe Bria McKenna Douglas, Tinashe Chia Akoya Douglas, Cassandra Nicole Drawlinger, Braden Jack Duffner, Johnny Joseph Evans, Olin Tobin Fairman, Elizabeth Grace Farish, Dylan Keith Johnson Fairman, Noelia Arianda Fernandez Mares. Angel Carmaya Figueroa, Christian Jacob Fletcher, Anna Mabel French, Kyla Danae Gant, Emma Carson Gentry, Aliyah Pei Gonzalez, Maya Alexis Green. Patrick Mitchell Greenstreet, Molly Claire Grahowski, Hannah Grace Grover, Connor Jackson Haas, Peyton Joelle Harbert, Ethan Blake Hearn, Mary Rachel Henry, Emily Page House, Sydney Elizabeth Hovensen, Ethan Winchester Hubert, McClendon Christian Hughes, Favor Chisom Ikajora, Alexia Mary Jameson, Logan Paul Carnes. Kyle James Kennedy, Ashton Michael Kirkpatrick, Heidi Katerina Kanak, Nicholas Emery Kovacs, Kaylee Isabel Lankford, Anna Sophia Lloyd, Anaya Maria Talair Mack. Alexander Jeremiah Martinez, Kyla Maureen O'Keefe, Om M. Patel, Ashton Graham Poole, Lucy Virginia Proctor, Samuel Sterling Proctor, Price Roman Purvis, Lee Austin Rachels, 
Callan James Reed. Amber Brianne Rogers. Emma Faith Ross. Sydney Ann Rudis. Keaton Patrick Schwartz. Ethan Scott Seidel. Piper Luann Shockey. James Alexander Sherwood. Claire Gwendolyn Schultz. Elliot Scott Scogland. Nolan Matthew Smith. Spencer Aiden Smith. Alexis Jade Spooner. Clara Elizabeth Stein. Marissa Danielle Stillman. Jason Myron Sutherland. Emily Morris Tart. Vincent Christian Taylor. Sophia Lynn Thomas. Susanna Salvia Thompson. Jacob Sanders Tierney. Angelina Teresa Nieves Trotter. Sydney Luis Truluck. Rosemary Lita Valmores. Christine Renee Welch. Kelsey Peyton Wheeler. Julia Paige Wilson. The honor graduates are Emma Victoria Bassett. Nassim Dequan Benjamin. Jackson Gregory Blass. Brianna Elysium Bridgewater. Haley Lynn Brinson. Melody Gail Butcher. Sebastian James Butler. Abigail Jennings Cassidy. Phoebe Elaine Centers. Destiny Michelle Clark. Jason Lloyd Clark. Jamie Alyssa Collins. Bailey Reed Cunningham. Sonia Noel Dean. Elania Diane Dingman. Lauren Marie Dorsey. Michaela Larice Edwards. Elania Rose Dulay Elida. Kaylee Brooke Evans. Olivia Joe Fiore. Tyler Joel Fortenberry. Candence Gwendolyn Gardner. Peyton Nicole Glatfelter. Isabella Denise Grossweiler. Andrew Daniel Hafner. Thomas Jackson Harrington. Rico Jackson Harris. Riley Scott Hedesheimer. Samantha Leanne Hinton. Jacob William Holland. Ariana K. Keefe. Valerie Marie Kempton. Madison Alexis Ladner. Madison Kathleen Lanham. Alvin Lee. Kaylee Abigail Lindmeyer. Leah Nicole McCain. William Christopher McCune. Jacob Alden Merson. Julian Dean Metz. Mia Nairi Millord. Matthew Logan Mirdo. Chase Thomas Morrow. Peyton Elizabeth Myers. Zoe Grace Orgua. Ashley Elizabeth Partridge. Nevea Simone Patterson. Ivan Town Richter. 
Brianna Jean Roberts, Isabella Rodriguez, Jack Allen Salik, Mia Shemska Sass, Lindsay Adolphus Robert Shuford, Hayden Nicholas Smith, Ashlyn Rebecca Sullivan, John Alexander Sutherland, Carson Haley Sweat, Jackson Ellis Tietrich, Kedzi Brooke Thompson, Alexis Maria Vestrait, Charles David Wagner, Waylon Robert Welch, Cole Lakin Woodard, Brendan Anthony Young, Kathleen Ann Zalski. Congratulations to the Ashley Ridge Distinguished Honor Graduates and Honor Graduates. Katiana Jean Adame, Aliyah Aria and Elise Alexander, Joseph Campbell Alkire, Ashley Nicole Allen, Jalen Anthony Allen, Elijah Kai Alperin, Matthew Logan Anderson, Michael Caleb John Anderson, Rachel Gwyneth Takola Archer, Rebecca Hannah Archer, Destiny Unique Asbury, Caden James Austin, Aaron Elise Bagwell, Camden Matthew Barber, Jamari Brooke Barco, Caleb Ashton Barger, Charles Joseph Bartlett, Emma Elizabeth Barnes, Hunter James Barnes, Joshua Elias Baruti, William Tanner Bean, Joseph Gray Bicknell II, Cordelia Fawn Bell, Austin Aaron Bentley, Tyler Dylan Bentley, Trey William Bethune, Jacob Matthew Bevins, Sharif Anton Blair Jr., DeJay Lynette Blow, Alexis Jordan Bowler, Bryson Timothy Businger, Haley Nicole Bordelon, Adorable Champry Bowden, Cameron Tamia Boyd, Russell William Brady, Cade Michael Branham, Wendell Tashian Brioche, Tyler David Britton, Ashley Kathleen Broughton, Maddox Lee Brown, Michael St. Christopher Brown, Mackenzie Kailani Carrington, Nicholas Isaac Carvier, Zachary Sedino, Ariza Jahani Childs, Samuel Jacob Santos Sigurano, Landon Joseph Clark, Baylor Vance Collins, Georgia Alexandra Condon, 
Jackson James Corcoran. Preston Joseph Cornish. Dylan Alexander Cox. Gabriel Preston Craven Miller. Connor Thomas Daly. Harrison Montgomery Daniels. Nathaniel Wyatt Deason. Jackson Robert Diamond. Ashley Faye Dietz. Ginger Robin Donovan. Ashley Dorval. Jaquan Shaheem Tamarion Dotson. Nicholas Edward Foster Downing. Nathaniel Isaac Durham. Weston Lane Eady. Miles Devon Early. Talal Adil El Hag. Miriam Lewis Elliott. Victoria Simone Elliott. Skylar Blake Emmerich. Elizabeth Elaine Erkman. Farouk Khalid Forloren Eddy. Jace Babadia Evangelista. Natalie Grace Evans. Francisco Gabriel Fabregat. Cassidy Elaine Farmer. Deontra Germain Faraby. Deontre, sorry. Taylor Briel Fitcher. Fred Fordham III. Casey Elizabeth Freeman. Malik Isaiah Freeman. Katie McKenna Fulton. Dominique Janae Zaria Gadston. Edwin Zahir Galindo Luciona. Ashley Garcia Rivera. Xavier Richard Geddes. Alicia Zaria Janaya Gathers. Zachary William Gilliard. Molly Lynn Goldberg. Justin Donald Goldman. Natalie Maria Gonzalez. Cole Elliott Googe. Jarvel Demarcus Gordon. Juan Algamon Gordon. Camille Evelyn Grau. Ajane Unique Gray. Kendall Vanessa Gray. Charity Faith Green. Tunisia Latrice Green. Braxton Allen James Greenwood. Dylan Charles Gregory. Savannah Caitlin Grieve. Jeremiah Christian Hall. Paris Anaya Janae Hall. Christina Safira Ayana Hammonds. Sean Christopher Harper. Omarion Tyree Harris. Catherine Lydia Hermendinger. Jessica Leandra Herrick. Jemaine Lamar Hayward Jr. Trinity Angel Hips. Sophia Patricia Ivy Holder. Claudia Elizabeth Hall. Lucas Samuel Holstein. Dacia Wen Honaker. 
Xavier Josiah Horry. Nathan Robert Hoops. Caleb Allen Huckabee. Lenore Jamari Huji. Foster Levon Irving. Angela Lee Jackson. Damari Nazir Jackson. Timothy Ward Jackson. Zion Larique Jackson. Faith Simone Jenkins. Tara Faith Jennings. Otto Ivan Lucas Johansson. Jaden Sana Johns. Abigail Gretchen Johnson. David Earl Johnson III. Gabriel Coy Johnson. Caitlin Bethany Johnson. Michael Benjamin Johnson. Terrence Pierre Johnson. Tyreek C. Caleb Johnson. Mackenzie Hayes Johnston. Carson Scott Jones. Kendall Mike Michelle Jones. Navea Lachey Jones. Maya Janae Joyce. Logan Shane Kendall. Jessica Gail Kessler. Jaden Milan Keys. Alexandria Page Knotts. Lucas Robert Kratz. Mason Anthony Kuhlman. Savannah Catherine Lacey. Carson William Lamb. Chandler Robert Lamb. Terry Lamar Latherne Jr. Daquan Sedale Law. Trent Donald Lawson. Sean Dylan Lenthy. Amani Maria DeAndre Lewis. Joseph Herbert Lindhorst. Abigail Marie Little. Malik Marquez Logan. Michaela Sherelle Mack. Drayton Keith Maloney. Brianna Marie Manderville. Tristan Harrison Mangrum. Connor Michael Mannix. Mason Isaiah Trifolio Marlett. Caroline Melis Marks. Anthony Trent Marshall. Alilia Kathleen Martinez. Santiago Gabriel Martinez. Jacob Christopher Mazak. Justin Alexander Mata. (laughs) 
Jacob Christopher Mazak. Benjamin Moore McCoy. Leslie Ann McCrudden. Chandler Adam Messenger. Lucas Marion Millard. Noah Lee Minor. Jalen Matthew Mitchell. Alexa McKenna Lee Moore. Heaven Elaine Moore. Rocky David Moretti. Trevante Jamal Morton. Emma Marie Myrick. Brandon Timothy Nelson. Dillion Anthony Norris. Harley Brooke Norris. Mackenzie Jenna Norris. Megan Marie Udding. Colleen Gail O'Brien. Avery Elizabeth O'Neill. Edwin Alejandro Orella. Jaden Glenn Panna. Caleb Stephen Parker. Haley Nicole Parker. Haley Bryce Peak. Alex Perez. Jaylene Perez. Jonathan Marlincio Perez Perez. Tyra Dolores Perry. Kaylee Rose Poitner. Autumn Elizabeth Prince. Abigail K. Quant. Benjamin David Reason. Gabriel Christian Reed. Jordan Christopher Reed. Caden Scott Renfro. Tristan Storm Rhodes. Anaya Gabriela Reiser Martinez. Cody Michael Nathaniel Ritchie. Megan Elise Ritter. Avery Micaiah Robbins. Janasia Kalise Robinson. Trinity Tanajale Rollins. Essence Kiera Ronjon. Javen Deron Rump. Devin Wade Russell. Jocelyn Amira Rudolones. Hayden Carson Salman. Andrew Charles Sargent. Anna Michelle Sauter. Keith William Schmidt. Evan Michael Shepke. Kayla Maria Schultz. Joseph Tyler Shalampo. Kiera Dion Scott. Cameron Gabrielle Shepard. Braden Lane Schraus. Hayden Parker Scheel. Hope Yulin Cease. Zaniah Sherelle Simmons. Jordan Avery Simmons Cruz. Jonathan David Simino. Benjamin Campbell Singletary. Victor D'Angelo Sistrunk. Ashley Ariel Smalls. Kobe Riley Smalls. David Benjamin Smith. Isabella Reese Smith. 
Jada Tyronia Smith. Tykees Lawan Smith. Tamar Damond Smith Martin. Travis Demonte Span. Jordan Lee Spruill. Aaron Rita St. Pierre. Thomas William Stevens. Philip Topher Stout. Ellie Nicole Stewart. William Lawrence Sullivan. Candace Cameron Somerset. Tamari Kawan Sutter. Caleb Anthony Schweimer. Schweibaker, I'm sorry. Thomas Lee Swimer. Rebecca Lillian Sylvester. JT Scott Thomas. Diamond Simone Thompson. Michael Tay Thompson. Curtis James Truel. Tai Guy Turner. Michael Ronald Tyler. Chad Allen Van Sluten. Shay Elizabeth Van Sluten. Kiera Trenice Vanderhorst. Bailey Elizabeth Vest. Skyler Lee Walton. Kaylin Don Waltz. Aaron Colleen Ward. Tristan Todd Warner. Austin Summer Watts. Riley K. Weaver. Megan Victoria Welch. Tamia Lee Whitlock. Alandria Hatalia Williams. Hayden Cole Williams. Sadie Lynn Williams. Connor Nathaniel Wilson. Jasmine Carey Jane Winter. Christopher John Wiseman. Chevelle Elizabeth Wolf. William Joe Wright. Alyssa Nicole Young. Michael Steven Zampino. Yeah, let's hear it for the class of 2022. Now, it is my duty as the principal of Ashley Ridge High School and on behalf of the faculty and staff of Ashley Ridge High School to certify to Superintendent Pye 
and our Board of Trustees that these seniors, the class of 2022, have, full, have fulfilled all state and local requirements to earn their high school diploma. Mr. Pye, it is my hearty recommendation that they be accepted as duly qualified. I was making sure we didn't forget anything, but as superintendent and on behalf of the Dorchester School District II Board of Trustees and the state of South Carolina, I certify that all the candidates for South Carolina's high school diploma have met all graduation requirements. Therefore, I proudly accept the Ashley Ridge High School Class of 2022 as graduates. Congratulations. Good afternoon, Dorchester District 2, distinguished guests, faculty, family, friends, and my fellow graduating classmates. My name is Molly Grahowski, and I have the privilege of serving as Ashley Ridge High School's 2022 Senior Class President. It is with great honor that I speak in front of you all today. I personally want to thank my parents, family, friends, teachers, and academic advisors who work diligently not only with me, but with all of us to mold us into the young adults we are today. To my peers and fellow seniors, can you believe it? We did it. We finally made it. In a few moments, we will be Ashley Ridge High School graduates. Congratulations to each and every one of you on reaching this incredible milestone. I know everyone is anxious to get out of here to start celebrating, but please indulge me just for a few minutes. Many people believe we start a journey today. I disagree. I believe our journey started a long time ago, specifically 13 years ago when we first started school. For some of us, that journey began here in South Carolina, maybe even in District, Dorchester District 2. For others, like myself, our journey started somewhere else entirely. Four years ago, we walked into high school as freshmen, the same way we walked into elementary school, nervous, young, bright but eager to learn and roam the new hallways to make friends and memories. Maybe it was the size of the lockers, the confusing E-shape of the school, or the endless sea of students that seemed to tower over you in the halls that intimidated you that first year. Whatever it was, you have adapted and grown into the bright minds I see in front of me today, ready to take on a world filled with uncertainty and endless possibilities. As Carrie Washington stated, your life is your adventure, and the adventure ahead of you is a journey to fulfill your own purpose and potential. Today is a new chapter in our own personal book, one that happens to be splitting us into 468 different directions. We came to Ashley Ridge as shiny new textbooks, pencils not sharpened, all of us with hearts that were raw, not knowing what the future held. Today, our future is more real, honest, and pressing than our freshman year. But if we learned anything over the last couple of years, it's that the future is unpredictable. Life continues to surprise us. So be prepared for anything and see yourself as we can only hope to become. And frankly, it is scary. For some of us, it's terrifying. As a very wise woman once said, fearless is not the absence of fear. It is not being, it's not being completely unafraid. To me, fearless is having fears. Fearless is having doubts, lots of them. To me, fearless is living in spite of those things that scare you to death, Taylor Swift. So today, it's okay to be afraid of what the next chapter may hold, but instead of letting that fear paralyze you, relish in the moment, because with all of the infinite possibilities we have in front of us, there is not much we can't do. Today is May 28th, 2022, and we are a class of young adults who have grown, learned, laughed, cried, made mistakes, and had successes together. We are the ever-changing generation living in an age of instant messaging, instant gratification, and Instagram. But there is no way to short-circuit our path to success, according to Tori Birch. We are still dealing with the challenges and heartbreak of recent events while trying to find the courage to accept things we cannot change and at the same time changing the things we can. We all may have grown up with our own unique paths, but I truly believe we have all impacted one another in ways we may not have realized yet. 
We're a class of scholars, athletes, musicians, artists, philanthropists, entrepreneurs, and so on. Regardless of our differences in goals, aspirations, and interests, we are human beings. A class of moments, knowledge, tears, laughter, compassion, and joy. A crowd of 468 students gather today as the world lies unopened before us. So let's cherish and appreciate the moment. Let the enormity of it humble and excite us. Let us not be sad or worry. Look forward and back at all the faces surrounding you. There is no way of knowing who will come into our lives in the next year, who will have stayed, or who will have gone in another direction. And many of us do not know where we will be. So right now, let's just be here, completely, authentically here. Because pretty soon, this will just be another memory. So let's not lose the moment while it is still within our grasp. For now, we sit united together as a class, a community of fa cardinal fabric with eyes lit up in anticipation for the future. Let who we are in this moment define us, not who we were yesterday or who we hope to be tomorrow, but who we are right now. Ashley Ridge High School's graduating class of 2022, I want to thank you again for your time and attention. Now it is time. If you will please stand, for it is time to cross over and complete this part of our journey. Ashley Ridge High School, class of 2022, please move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations, official high school graduates. Let the next chapter begin as we remain standing and sing Cardinal and Gold together one last time. And here is Jacob Tyranny. To our school we lift our hearts and we sing thy praise. Ashley Ridge, we will be true. Pride never failed. Go and cardinal through and through swamp foxes will reign we will always love 